the Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my September favorites. So if you want to know what I've been loving in September, then keep on watching. So the very first thing is by Dermalogica. I'm actually trying a lot of their skincare right now, so I'm still in the testing period. But this moisturizer, I can tell you that I really, really like. This is the Active Moist Oil-Free Lightweight Moisturizer to Hydrate Combination Skin. I just really like this moisturizer. I don't wear a lot of moisturizer or if at all because I'm always scared, you know, adding extra things to my skin. It's going to break me out, clog my pores, and I just kind of like put it aside. But I've been wearing this a lot lately and I really, really like it. This, my skin's texture is like immediately like softened and like kind of plumped. Um, it says it helps improve your skin texture and combat surface dehydration, which is what I have. Like, I have really terrible texturized dry patches and like my skin just never looks super smooth so I really like this. <laughs> Next up is a concealer I've been loving and surprise surprise it's a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Everybody's been talking about how much they love this, it's so amazing and it sold out for the longest time and I couldn't get my hands on it. So I finally did and I love it. It's actually really really nice. Gives you a nice pigmented opaque coverage without being cakey or too dry or like sinking into your like fine lines and stuff so I've been really liking this my only complaint is I wish they had more color selection because this is a little bit too light it's like a little bit too brightening and I know that it's for highlighting kind of because they only have like five shades um, it's kind of like highlight contour sticks but I really like it and I hope they do come out with more colors I can fix it with like powder and stuff but when I first applied, I'm like, ooh, dang, <laughs> that's very brightening. <laughs> On the same page of kind of like highlight contour concealer sticks and things like that are these Ofra Skin Sculpting Wands. I have not had these for the whole month of September. They are quite new, but ever since I did get them, I have not put them down. I really, really like these. Um, the consistency feels like almost like they're liquid lipsticks. It's very thick and moussey, but it's very like creamy at the same time, and I don't find it to be very cakey. It blends out really, really nicely. My favorite are actually the two contouring ones. These two mixed together give me a beautiful cream contour. I really like them. Um, it also has a kind of like a peachier shade, which I don't use too much, but the highlighting one is really nice too. It's very brightening. So yeah, I'm still using this, but I could tell you I really, really like them. I don't know why, but a majority of my September favorites are like bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. I guess I've been trying a lot of new ones out, and I've been really liking a lot of them. So first up is like kind of like my ride or die bronzer because if I'm not using anything else, I'm using this like almost every single day. And that's the Jouer Suntan Matte Bronzer. I absolutely love this so much. It's one of my all-time favorites. I think it's the most perfect shade for me. It's not like ashy. It's not too orangey. It's like the perfect neutral contour and it's a matte which is amazing. I love matte bronzers. So yeah, love that. The next product is a limited edition product, which I don't like talking about things that people can't get their hands on, but I have been wearing it a lot. It has been a September favorite, so I'm gonna give it a quick mention. It's the MAC and Selena Collection Bronzer and Blush Duo. Gosh, that almost didn't come out. It's the Techno and Cumbia Matte duo here. I really like it. I've been using both. The bronzer is absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing that today. I think it's a really nice color. The blush is absolutely beautiful too. It's a very dusty mauve rose shade and I really like that. I'm wearing that as well. But yeah, really like that. Next bronzer I've been loving is by Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham. It looks like this. The packaging is so beautiful and heavy duty. But this is what it looks like inside. It's in the shade Java Sun and it's also a matte. I really, really like it. It blends in beautifully. It's not too dark for me. It doesn't look too orange. I don't know. When I find a bronzer that blends seamlessly and looks good on my skin tone, it's like, oh, I love it. Um, so I've been really, really liking that. And compared with the Jouer one, the Jouer is slightly kind of more taupey as this is a little bit more warm. So yeah, I really like those. I said so a lot. Very sorry, we're moving on. Another blush I've been loving is by Marc Jacobs. These are the Air Blushes. I think I have all the shades and I love them all so much. One of the colors I reach for the most is called Kink and Kisses. It's a really pretty rosy pink shade. It goes from a very glowy color to a matte blush and you just mix it together. It creates just 
it's like just so pretty and magical and I really like these blushes a lot it gives you the perfect amount of color payoff without being too much or too little yeah I like those. Now I'm going to talk about some highlighters I've been loving and the first one is by the Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham collection as well. I have been wearing this almost every single day. This color is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like, I don't know how to describe this shade. It's kind of like a pinkier light gold, like dirty gold shade. I don't know. But all I know is it's absolutely beautiful and I just swim in this. This highlighter is beautiful and I have not put it down since, so yeah. Moving on to more highlighters. I have these Jouer highlights. These are so beautiful. I love these so much. I take these everywhere I go, all three of them, because I actually really like mixing the colors as well. We have Citrine here, which is more of like a champagne gold. There's Rose Quartz in the middle, which is more like a pinkier tone. And Topaz, which is more of like a dirty golden bronze. Um, I really like these a lot. Um, the formula and the texture of these are very, very different than other highlighters I have. It feels like very buttery and silicone-y. Like, I can like touch this all day. It's just the smoothest thing in the world. But they are apps. Oh, look. Oh, do you see that? They are really, really pretty. I like these. You can wear them very soft or you can build it up in like blind people as they're walking by. So depends on how you want to wear them, but I really like those. Let's move on. Going with the whole glowy sparkly theme is an eyeshadow I've been loving. This is by ColourPop. It's in the shade Paisley. This came out in their new fall collections and it's a glitter sheer formula. I love this color so much. It's what I have on my eyelids right now. All that glitter and sparkle is just this. I, ugh, this color is beautiful. It's very sheer. There's like no color to it, but it just leaves like beautiful sparkle deposits all over your eyes. It's like magical fairy dust. I get so many compliments. I'm like, my God, your eyes are so pretty. What is that sparkle? I'm like, I mean, I don't carry this everywhere I go and pull it out, but you know, I tell them. But yeah, that's an eyeshadow I've been loving. Let's move on to the next product. More eyeshadows I've been loving is by Makeup Forever. This is the Palette 9 Artist Shadow, and these are all matte shades, but look how beautiful those are. This is very unique. Like, I don't have a palette that has this type of combination in it. I have a lot of very warm browns, coppers, golds, things like that, but I don't have shades like this and as you can tell i've been using that color a lot this shade this shade this shade the black and this one have been my go-to every day i've been digging that kind of more plummy smoky eye rather than browns it's like very mauvey and dusty rose i really like that i've been using this palette a lot i'm wearing it right now but yeah i really like it and they're all matte and they're super pigmented and beautiful i really want to use this kind of teal blackened teal shade one day in a look so maybe i'll do a tutorial but those are the colors right there super pigmented look at that my next favorite is an eyeshadow brush this is nothing new i think i got this a while back at fame expo um i really really like this i have fallen in love with it recently and it's like i use nothing but this this is the smith 232 blending brush i just think this is amazing. It blends everything seamlessly and beautifully, diffuses your eye looks, and to me, blending brushes are probably the most important eyeshadow brush. I feel like I can do an entire look with just one blending brush. So, you know, when I find one I really, really like, I hold on to them. I think I have like three or four top ones that are very close to my heart. Um, this is one of them, and I really like it. The hairs on the brush are goat hair, so if you're not into that, this is probably not for you, but yeah, I really like this brush. And lastly, my favorite lip has been this one from ColourPop. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in Calypso. They launched this in their new fall collection, and I did make a video swatching all of it. But this is what the color looks like. It's a beautiful, dusty, warm rose mauve shade. I don't know why my swatch is so big. But yeah, I love the color. I love the satin formula. It's so comfortable to wear. It lasts a long time. I keep this color in my purse, and if I don't know what lip color to wear for the day, I generally go towards this one because it's just my, you know, foolproof lip. But yeah, love that. That is pretty much everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite has been in the month of September. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. And the very and my very last favorite of September, and my very last and my. Blah, blah, blah.
for the month of September. And my li and my very last and my to help. Oh my God! Wait, and it hot oil-free high lightweight moisturizer to have right there. It is so pretty. Yes.